Hi there and welcome back to fmatutorials.com where we start in this month of December doing a series of minimal tutorials making minimal sounds with FM8 starting today we're going to be doing uh, making a minimal pluck type sound and as you could hear there using this chorus delay in FM8 to just create some nice variations with the sound with the slapback style delay really to just give some nice automation with the sound so there's the sound solo it's pretty cool little um, nice little pluck sound really simple sound to make so let's go ahead and create a new sound in FM8 and begin with the operator section and we're just going to be using two operators E and F for this sound so Let's turn on operator E and I'm not even going to be using the filter for this sound. I'm going to control the shape of the, the operators using envelopes. So you can push the volume of F up to 100 and I'm just going to route E into F at 25 or 26. Pretty simple to begin with. And I'm going to feed F into itself about 24. It's just beefing up the tone a little bit. I'm going to key sync both the operators so we get a nice bit of consistency with the sound and keep everything else the same really. Ratio can stay at 1 on both E and F. The offset can stay at 0. They can both stay as sine waves and just make sure this is checked here, the pitch envelope, because we're going to be doing some pitch modulation with these operators. So make sure that's checked and then move over to the master section and they're going to make sure the synth is monophonic I'm going to give it four voices push the detune up to around halfway so about 57 and I'm going to pan some of those voices that we set here I'm going to pan some of those out so push this slider right up be about 74 and that's just giving a nice sort of more chorusy type effect with the sound really push the analog slider up 57 will do. Turn the portamento on and take it off auto. So this basically means even if if we take it if we uncheck this box it means even if the notes aren't overlapping we're still going to get that glide in between them which is what we want because the MIDI sequence here the notes aren't overlapping we don't want overlapping notes but we still want that glide so just uncheck that box and next we can move over set the envelopes so it's a pluck sound so I'm just going to use the volume envelope to create the pluck really and tempo sync them both it's not essential this but it might help a little bit and I'm just going to link both envelopes E and F together and just create a pluck envelope so just pull the sustain we don't want any sustain because we want it quite percussive so Drag the release out a little bit. That should do really. Zoom in, yeah. Maybe just push the decay up a little bit. That should be fine. And I think the next thing to do really is set the effect this sound because that's where it's going to come together so we can have a bit of EQ just to boost some of the sort of highs and high mids just beefing up the sound there really this is the EQ and use a reverb just going to make it a bit more dramatic the time down to around about 40 keep the bright on 50 and push the treble up so just getting a bit a bit more top end in there pull the dry wet down we don't want a ridiculously wet reverb we want just want to give it that nice sort of decay with it really because we're going to have quite a lot of delay on there as well so too much reverb is going to muddy the sound a bit too much so yeah chorus delay turn that on and um Push the time up to around 25. Sync it, sync the delay as well. And I'm going to pull the low cut up, so basically we're not going to get too much 
low tail on this because when you start automating it pushing this feedback slider right up you don't want loads of muddiness loads of bottom end in that delay it's just gonna mess the sound up a bit so just pull the low cut up to around about 30 uh, the high cut can stay up there we keep the highs in this delay and push the feedback to about 17 maybe for 17 or 18 for now Just pull that dry wet down a little bit. The next thing we can look at is the pitch envelope here really and just make sure these boxes are checked here so we're getting the envelopes the operators are getting sent to the pitch envelope and um, yeah just control click and we can create another sort of envelope sort of node there and um, we can just draw in just draw in a nice sort of pluck shape basically take the, take the amp right up we get a really percussive sort of flip but we don't want to go that extreme we just want to go maybe about a quarter of the way up see the difference it's just emphasizing the pluck it's emphasizing the pluck a little bit more Okay, yeah, we could tempo sync it as well. And I think that's pretty much everything with the sound now. There's no modulation going on with it, really. So, yeah. Playing around with that chorus delay, the feedback and the time and stuff, and you, you the dry wet as well, and you get all sorts of crazy effects. Cool little effects. Another thing I noticed actually is to take the pluck sound a little bit further or in a different direction. If you feed E into F, push that up to around 50, pull the level down a bit there, you get a slightly different sort of tone to the sound. Push it up to 75. And then you put it right down and then feed F into itself as well. You get a lot more sort of high frequency on the on the pluck as well, so you take the decay right down, so you just got a bit more of a blip as well. So it's just taking the sound in a different direction, doing something slightly different with it. So it's just kind of a variation on the pluck sound there really. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions then please get in touch. And thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.